You pray it and he can answer it. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. God will put the prayer in your heart to pray so that he can answer it. Goes into the hearts of the people, doesn't return void, it produces results. So we could pray in tongues and this is the result. But I'm going to bring you to the third dimension. Romans 8 already spoke about it. Romans 8 brings us into the third dimension of prayer, praying with travail. Romans 8, 26 speaks not only of praying in the Spirit, but also specifically of praying through travail when it says the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. Simply put, travail is a form of intense intercession in our hearts and spirits that can involve deep groaning and at times tears. It is a spiritual birthing in prayer and it ends when the intercessor senses a release in the spirit. Sometimes this manifests as a sense of breaking or laughter. Unlike the first two dimensions of prayer, travail rises up in our spirits by the Holy Spirit and is always initiated by Him, not by our human will. These are wordless prayers, and they're also at times mixed with tongues. I've had this, I had it happen this week, and we'll talk about it in a minute. Where you're entering into a place of prayer, and some, it's wordless prayers, it's, it's, it's a groaning, it's, it's a sighing, it's something on the inside is turning, but you're also mixing in with the groanings and the yearnings, tongues. And then you go back into the groanings, and you go back into tongues. And this is the place I find that I have a lot of interpretation to my tongues, where I find myself because of that place in the spirit, forming English words so as to give me a clue as to what I am praying about. I'm going to give you an example. I was going to say it in the end, but I'll give it to you now. This week, I was very grieved in my spirit, kind of like the same grieving we had when before, the not before COVID, we knew there was a COVID. It was, was so grieved in our spirits. Remember that? And then we went into a KIU event, and we, didn't, we just said, we're just going to demonstrate prayer. We're not going to have any teaching. And I mean, we groaned and travailed and prayed in tongues. We didn't know there was a COVID. We didn't know what was going on. But we picked up on it a week before. And then in the KIU event, you know, we entered into this level I call the third dimension of prayer, not knowing what we were praying about. And I looked at Michael, what are we praying about? We had no idea, but a week later, we found out there was a COVID. So this week, I was grieved in my spirit. Oh, I just don't know why. I just was, oh, are you kindred, Shafiri, Amayana, Korasia, ah, God, Ishteke. It was just, I couldn't, I can't express what was on the inside. I still have it on the inside. But as I prayed this thing out, I never got a full victory or a full release, but a part of it, interesting, was I found that I was praying at this point for myself. And I realized that because when I was praying in tongues and I would enter into that realm of the third dimension, I found myself saying, I want you to obey me. Really? I want you to obey me. So I was not in that moment in intercession for the region, for a person, for a place. I had a weakness, and I have a weakness. And my weakness is, I don't know that I want to do this. I don't know that I want to do this. Why do you keep burdening me with this burden? And the Holy Spirit has 
has to work it in me both to will and to do of his good pleasure. And so I'm praying in the Holy Ghost. And this time it wasn't in intercession. But I realized this week that I was praying. I have a weakness. I personally have a tendency to go this way, like Jonah and the whale of the belly, and run. And God's calling me this way. And so that's a weakness in my soul. So when as I was praying in the Holy Ghost, the interpretation of my tongue was, I want you to obey me. It's another level of obedience. It's another level of breakthrough in your soul. God wants to take us to another level. But it's the Holy Spirit that helps us get to that place, and that's where at times we will enter into these kinds of praying, this kind of praying. Now, when you're praying like this, there is an anointing. And Michael said it last night, Christ is the anointed one, right? When you're in this place of prayer, this third dimension, there is an anointing that is rising within you when you are at this level. I'll say it again. There's no thought of self. You're more conscious of what is happening right here, John 7, 38, on the inside of you than you are about all this going all around over here. So you could pray the word and you can think. You could pray in tongues, you could think, right? You have to walk around, you pray in tongues, I got to feed the dog, oh my God, I got to brush his tail, he keeps shaking, he's obsessed about shaking, and if it messes up his tail, I got to brush his tail. But I'm praying in tongues and I'm thinking. When you're in this third dimension of prayer, you, it, is, it is as if spirit, soul, and body, you are in an anointing and there's no thought of self, you are more... Um, internally minded than you are externally minded. It's a good way of putting it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. There is an anointing. When you're in this place of prayer, you feel the heart of God and his yearning and his longing and his desire that all men be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. His desire to see that little boy in that country healed and set free from the power of God. You literally feel this heart of God in this third dimension of prayer. This type of prayer is rooted in mercy and compassion. In this place of prayer, you will experience identification and intercession or in prayer. Weep with those who weep, right? There's an identification. So when you're in this place of prayer, you may feel lost, and you're not actually lost. You're on your way to heaven. You're just picking up on what is going on in that person or in that region or whatever the case may be. It's identification. Remember, we are one with him, right? We're one with Jesus. We're the temple of the Holy Ghost. He's in us. He ever lives to make intercession. So we're sensing or picking up on his heart. I don't know about you, but I like that. And it's been a long time since I've done this kind of praying. But I believe he's bringing us to the time of birth. I believe the baby is in the womb. And I believe this word is just preparation for what God wants to do in our region and in and amongst us. Some of you are entering into another level. And that's why there's so much war over your purpose and your destiny. There's so much struggle going on because you're going to a new level. I know I'm right. Caution. Kenneth E. Hagin said in his book, Tongues Beyond the Upper Room said, the Holy Ghost has to take hold with believers as they pray in the Spirit. Otherwise, because it's a taking hold. He takes a hold of you. You can feel it. It, it, it. Can I say the word feel? But you can, it's, a, it's an inner working of the Holy Spirit. He takes a hold of you. But you got to yield. The Holy Ghost has to take hold with believers as they pray in the Spirit. Otherwise, their groanings are nothing more than a fleshly display. Uh, but for the sake of time, I don't want to get into the whole thing. I'll take a, script, a screenshot of my notes. 
Isaiah 66, 6 through 9, it's the whole explanation of who has heard such a thing. This is what the scripture says. Who has seen such things? Shall the earth be made to give birth in one day, or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion was in labor, she gave birth to him children. God goes on to say, shall I bring to the time of birth and not cause delivery, says the Lord. Shall I bring, shall I cause delivery and shut up the womb? No, I believe we're coming into a time of birth. Now, the Old Testament prophecies often have multiple applications. First, there is the natural, then there is the spiritual. In this case, verse 8 does talk about Israel being born at once, so to speak, in these last days. I believe that happened in 1948 when Israel became a sovereign nation. But when the Bible talks about Zion, it's not always talking about Israel. For example, in the following passage, what is God talking about when he refers to Mount Zion? Hebrews 12, 22 through 23. But you are come to Mount Zion and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels, to the general and assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven. This refers to us, the church, under the New Testament, we are Zion, and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect. This puts the whole new perspective on Isaiah 66 8. When the church travails, Veiled, she brought forth her spiritual children. Huh? I never heard this kind of teaching. When the church travails, she brings forth her spiritual children. I believe we're coming into a season not many days from now whereby the church is going to enter in as she yields to a travail in the spirit so as so we can give birth to this next thing that God wants to do in our region. There's been war at the gates, but we're coming through the gates. A great door and effectual has been opened to us. There's been many hindrances, but Zion, the church, is going to manifest Christ, and we are going through that door. Galatians 4.19, my little children, for whom I travail in birth again. Again. He travailed first for them to be born again and a second time for Christ to be formed in them. I think the travail in our region is for Christ to be formed in us so that we can manifest Christ in our region. Love one another as Christ loves the church. Bear one another's burdens. Be there to, for one another and stop being mean to one another. Jeremiah 9.1, Jeremiah said, oh, that my head were waters. Have you cried lately in prayer? Oh, that my head were waters and my eyes a fountain of tears. Or he said in another translation, or who will give to my head water and to my eyes a fountain of tears? The prophet wishes that his head was turned and dissolved into water and that tears might flow from his eyes as waters issue from a fountain. And he suggests that this, that could this be, it wouldn't even be sufficient to deplore the miserable estate of his people and to express the inward grief and sorrow of his mind on account of it. This kind of prayer involves tears, intense love, and compassion. God said to the, the priests who ministered to the Lord in Joel 2, 17, weep fearing the porch and the altar. Let's go to John 11. You have your Bibles? Good. Did Jesus pray like this? Look here at John 11. Now, we know that Jesus operated in all the gifts of the Spirit, except tongues and interpretation, right? But he did have the Holy Spirit within him and upon him, Right? John eleven fourteen. 14, you know the story. Jesus said to, th to them plainly, Lazarus is dead. I am glad for your sakes that I was not there, that you may believe. Nevertheless, let us go to him. Then Thomas, who is called the twin, said to his fellow disciples, 
Let us go also that we may die with him. <laughs> A lot of faith in him, right? Thomas, man. So when Jesus came, he found that he had already been dead four days. Looks impossible. With man, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Shall a nation be born at once? When Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. Suddenly, as of a rushing mighty wind, the whole house where they were sitting were filled with the Holy Ghost. Some things, I believe, can happen suddenly. I believe that for us who are praying people, and it should be all of us, we're all called to prayer. I believe if we go into the Spirit and start doing some real praying, I believe we're going to see results in the natural realm suddenly okay go to verse 32 then mary came where jesus was and saw him and she fell down at his feet saying to him lord if you had been here my brother would not have died therefore when jesus saw her weeping and the jews who came with her weeping what did he do he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. If you get a troubling in your spirit, don't ignore it. That's a, that's a prayer assignment. And he said, where have you laid him? And he said to him, Lord, come see. Now, thir verse 35, Jesus wept. Verse 41, then they took away the stone from the place where the dead man was lying, and Jesus lifted up his eyes. I love this. Father, I thank you that you have heard me. Huh. What did he do? He groaned in the spirit. He was troubled, and he had tears. And I know that you always hear me, but because of the people who are standing by, I said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And then he said, Lazarus, come forth. I believe dead environments can come alive. And he who died came out bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was wrapped with a cloth. And then Jesus said, loose him and let him go. Can I have my chair? How much more time do I have, Apostle? Oh, Five more minutes, maybe? Stand. Why don't we stand? I'm, I'm going to sit. If you want to sit back down, you can, but I wanted you to stand because some of you are tired. You need to get some sleep. <laughs> I'm not letting you sleep on me. <laughs> I'm not. I'm one of these really disciplined people in prayer. And I'm not. You guys got it. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. We got to do it. We're going to pray for five minutes. Mare a k o Russell 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 Lord did he must surrounded iron seer iron iron sharpens iron inrias of inner sikia already available ah riso 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 luling he no man did he be sherry America America release the precocy of my name in the name in the name, loose the paradiso ramana, loose the vela ministeria. No, 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 no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no, no weapon. I declare the masterica. You're a minister of your name. You're releasing in the name. You release it in the name. You release it in the name. No raking, no money, no, no more, no more, no more. That him that that stole steal no more. Looting a mission of mana. Looting a mission on the ma. Let it go. Let it go. Now, right now, we're interceding against the forces of darkness. And I'm going to keep praying until I get a release. Well, five minutes. <laughs>
Release it. No men, no men, nena, no nina, mana, no, 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 nena, mana, mana, nena, man, no. Obey, obey. You lose the muscle, you lose the mention, you lose the vision, you lose the vision. Americasa, Americasa, lose the vision. Lose the vision. Many, 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 many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivers him out of them all. Out of them all. Out of them all. Out of them all. Lord, the lema tore masherike zamini ara na na na. Release the pendore mando. Rande shini mano vele maso re bakata. Or dili bigi show dili baba sarabokoto. Ordinary ziki to riki ko beja bakata. Already commission among gong de begin do mana baga. Already among go de de baga de de bago. Already abon de de bigi show rebegito. Aba father, daddy, candy, na mantor, daddy. Come into that door, Daddy Kalisto Remanom, a 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 Remanom, Rolabasho Rabindo, raise the Rapatora, raise up the Kentane Mananda. Raise up the covenation on Gade Basso. Raise up the covenation of the Kambala Sotara. Raise up the combination of the Lemba Kosota. Raise up the collimation of Inambalinda. Raise up the continuity of the Kolamba City. Let a Rabala Bosho. Red a Labara Bosho. Ray, Ray, Ray say. Rene say. Rele say. Rele K. Rendation. Rale. Rallination, 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 Relemisa, Relevision, Relevision, Rallabacata, Tanana, Father, you said in your word to ask for the rain in the time of the latter rain. Father, we covet earnestly that the power gifts would be in manifestation in this day and in this hour. We covet earnestly, Lord, that you begin a release of the power gifts in this generation. Releasing a mandore bishara baba, we ask for the bashiri manda. Releasing a le bako de le beshe a mano, mano. I know, I know the plans you have for us. Plans to prosper us in this region and not harm us. To give us a hope and a future. Bring us up and bring us in. Bring us into that open door. The door of hope. The door of peace. The door of joy. The door of miracles. The door of signs. The door of wonders. Elevation, elevation, elevation. Elevation, 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 and name adore the chem and RSE. Elevation, 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 and the mission. Release the Vicasta, release the Vicaja, release the Rebasha, Tonda de Bassa, la Beta, oh, Basha, Tada de Bassa, la Babode. How many of you feel that on the inside? We're not done praying, but we have to stick with the schedule. You can take this prayer burden home and pray it out. I believe God, God said, call upon me and I will answer you to show you great and mighty things. I believe the Lord wants to do some great and mighty things. But I believe we need to get into that place of prayer and give birth to that which God desires to do. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You know, as I was flying into this area, I felt a strong spirit of oppression. And, um, and even uh, this morning, I woke up feeling that spirit of oppression. 
and, uh, and I think we need to come against it in Jesus' name because it not only affects this region, but I also believe it's just over this atmosphere here. And, uh, and also some of you came in with it. Some of you came in with this, there's an oppression on you. You're fighting it. You're resisting it, but it's there. It's there. And, and we want to break through it. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's agree and come into direct, specific attack against the spirit of oppression. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready? Hallelujah. Father, just pray in the Holy just for a few more minutes. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. We magnify you. Father, we come in agreement in this place and we speak against the spirit of oppression. Spirit of oppression in the name of Jesus, we break your hold over this territory. We break your hold over this church. We break your hold over those that have come here today. In the name of Jesus, spirit of oppression, we break your authority in this region. We break your influence in this region. We command you to be broken in Jesus' mighty name now. In the name of Jesus, we break it now. In in the name of Jesus and Father, we break through it now. We break through it now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Je oppression that is on churches, oppression that is on leaders, oppression that is on families, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we lift it off. We lift it off. We lift it off in the name of Jesus. And Father, I, I, I didn't know when to pray for this church because of what it just went through, but I feel led to pray for it now. Hallelujah. Amen. So let, let's pray for this King of King Church. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Father, we lift up this church, the leadership of this church. Father, we lift up the pastor of this church, Father. And Father, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, ya ha ha ha, do da ko ye de si ya da, ya ba ko he be ke ya a a a da si ya da a a. No, 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 no. You will not, you will not, you will not, you will not, in the name of Jesus, you will not affect this church in a negative way. You will not affect these people in a negative way, hallelujah. They shall come through. They shall get to the other side. They shall overcome, hallelujah. And the, it's going to be greater than ever before, hallelujah, amen. We call it forth into its comfort, that you would be the comforter to this body. That you would strengthen it with supernatural strength, God. And Father, we weep with them. But we also agreement that we will press through in Jesus' name. And we press through with them in agreement for the greater things you have ahead. Hallelujah. And Father, we lift up the pastor. Oh, my God. Supernaturally, God. Touch her today, God. Touch her today. The prophet. Hallelujah. Touch her, God. Touch the family right now. We hold them up in prayer, God. And we lift them up to the throne room of grace, God. This leadership. And we speak a refreshing of your comfort and your strength unto them now. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for it, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen, Amen. Give the Lord a good shout.
of praise. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Thank you.